God, come to my assistance. Lord, make haste to help me. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Excuse me. Alleluia. O Queen of heaven and of earth, weighed down by sin, we cry to you. The hope of those who refuge seek, hear now our lowly prayer for aid. You are the gate to endless life, lend gracious ear to us who call. You took a wave, sad reproach, by bringing hope of life to all. Dear Mother of our Lord and King, implore for us the grace of life that we may strive to make amends for all the faults of bygone years. Most Holy Mary, when you pray, the saints in heaven intercede. A word from you, a word from you as suppliant will reconcile us with the Lord. Our Mother and Most Powerful Queen, Fulfill your children's chief desire, and bring us when this life is done to everlasting joy and peace. We praise the Father and the Son, do homage to the Spirit, pay for raising you as heaven's Queen above all angels and all saints. With his right hand, God has raised him up as king and savior. Alleluia. Psalm 27. The Lord is my light and my help. Whom shall I fear? The Lord is the stronghold of my life. Before whom shall I shrink? When evildoers draw near to devour my flesh, it is they, my enemies and foes, who stumble and fall. There is one thing I ask of the Lord, for this I long, to live in the house of the Lord all the days of my life, to savor the sweetness of the Lord, to behold his temple. For there he keeps me safe in his tent in the day of evil. Excuse me. He hides me in the shelter of his tent. On a rock he sets me safe. And now my head shall be raised above my foes who surround me. And I shall offer within his tent a sacrifice of joy. I will sing and make music for the Lord. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. With his right hand, God has raised him up as King and Savior. Alleluia. I believe that I shall see the goodness of the Lord in the land of the living. Alleluia. Psalm 27, part 2. O Lord, hear my voice when I call. Have mercy and answer. Of you my heart has spoken. Seek his face. It is your face, O Lord, that I seek. Hide not your face. Dismiss not your servant in anger. You have been my help. Do not abandon or forsake me, O God, my help. Though father and mother forsake me, the Lord will receive me. Instruct me, Lord, in your way. On an even path, lead me. When they lie in ambush, protect me from my enemy's greed. False witnesses rise against me, breathing out fury. I am sure that I shall see the Lord's goodness in the land of the living. Hope in him. Hold firm and take heart. Hope in the Lord. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. I believe that I shall see the goodness of the Lord in the land of the living. Alleluia. 
From him, through him, and in him all things exist. Glory to him forever. Alleluia. From the letter of St. Paul to the Colossians. Let us give thanks to the Father for having made you worthy to share the lot of the saints in light. He rescued us from the power of darkness and brought us into the kingdom of his beloved Son. Through him we have redemption, the forgiveness of our sins. He is the image of the invisible God, the firstborn of all creatures. In him everything in heaven and on earth was created, things visible and invisible. All were created through him, all were created for him. He is before all else that is. In him everything continues in being. It is he who is head of the body, the church. He who is the beginning, the firstborn of the dead, so that primacy may be his in everything. It pleased God to make absolute fullness reside in him, and by means of him to reconcile everything in his person, both on earth and in the heavens, making peace through the blood of his cross. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. From him, through him, and in him, all things exist. Glory to him forever. Alleluia. A reading from the letter of St. Paul to the Galatians. When the designated time has come, God sent forth his Son, born of a woman, born under the law, to deliver from the law those who were subjected to it, so that we might receive our status as adopted sons. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Alleluia, alleluia. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb. Alleluia, alleluia. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Alleluia, alleluia. Blessed are you, O Virgin Mary, for your great faith, all that the Lord promised, excuse me. Blessed are you, O Virgin Mary, for your great faith, all that the Lord promised you will come to pass through you. Alleluia. My soul proclaims the greatness of the Lord. My spirit rejoices in God, my Savior for he has looked with favor on his lowly servant. From this day, all generations will call me blessed. The Almighty has done great things for me. Excuse me. And holy is his name. He has mercy on those who fear him in every generation. He has shown the strength of his arm. He has scattered the proud in their conceit. He has cast down the mighty from their thrones. He has lifted up the lowly. He has filled the hungry with good things, and the rich he has sent away empty. He has come to the help of his servant Israel, for he has remembered his promise of mercy, the promise he made to our fathers, to Abraham and his children forever. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Blessed are you, O Virgin Mary, for your great faith, all that the Lord promised you will come to pass through you. Alleluia. Let us praise God, our Almighty Father, who wished that Mary, his son's mother, be celebrated by each generation. Now in need, we ask. 
O God, worker of miracles, you made the Immaculate Virgin Mary share body and soul in your Son's glory in heaven. Direct the hearts of your children to that same glory. You made Mary our mother. Through her intercession, grant strength to the weak, comfort to the sorrowing, pardon to sinners, salvation and peace to all. You made Mary full of grace. Grant to all men the joyful abundance of your grace. Make your church of one mind and one heart in love, and help all those who believe to be one in prayer with Mary, the mother of Jesus. You crowned Mary, Queen of Heaven. May all the dead rejoice in your kingdom with the saints forever. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Let us pray. O God, who chose the mother of your Son to be our mother also, grant us that persevering in penance and in prayer for the salvation of the world, we may further more effectively each day the reign of Christ, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. May the Lord bless us, protect us from all evil, and lead us to everlasting life. Amen.